Now repeat after me, loom cube. Loom cube, loom cube. Doesn't that just roll off the tongue? It's a pretty cool title. There we have Tony walking back there, checking out some areas to fly his plane. So as you can imagine with the loom cube, today we're gonna take a look at it. And what exactly is a loom cube? Well, a loom cube is a little cube, about the size of a GoPro session and it shoots out like 1500 lumens of light. So it's probably the brightest thing on the planet in that size, as far as I know. And uh, I'm gonna check it out today. So now, as you can imagine, you can attach a loom cube to many things. Well, they have attachments to actually attach it to a drone. So I have the Phantom with me here. I got the Phantom 4 Pro, and uh, I'm gonna show you what a loom cube is right now, right here. That is a loom cube. And uh, here's another one. So Trevor at Loom Cube sent me two of them to try out to see if I like them. And uh, I'm going to test them now. Now normally it's light, so you'd use it at night, right? Well, it's not really night right now, is it? N nope. So uh, I'm going to see how bright these are in the day, and then we'll do a night test. Also included is an attachment for the Phantom drones, so you can attach the Loom Cubes to the legs. He's coming in. Whoa! Nice landing, Tony. <laughs> In the package comes two landing legs. They're made out of a really good material and they attach like this. Just stick it in one corner, put the other area up here and push down. Other one on. There we go, we have two in place. Let's put on the loom cubes. So the loom cubes have a nice little threaded hole here and there's a little threaded device there. There's the front. Face it the way you want and just tighten it in place. And there we go, I have two loom cubes on in place and you can adjust them any angle you wish. So I'm just gonna tilt mine a little bit downwards. There we are, we're all set to go. Now, of course, these little uh, cameras are waterproof, shockproof, damage proof. Let's turn it on. Tony, come here. I want you to tell me if you find this bright. I've got these really cool loom cubes on the drone. Take off. Okay, I'm gonna stand beside you. Are you ready to be blinded? Is that, is that bright? It's a little too bright, isn't it? Yeah. Let's just take it forward. What I'm testing out is I just want to see how good these loom cubes are in the daytime. So it's up against the blue sky now. I can't really see it. I'm going to spin around, see if we can see it. Yeah. Wow. Whoa. Could you ever see that? There it is at a distance, what it looks like. And uh, I'll just bring it closer. Flying over our heads. Don't worry, it won't hit us. And there we go. Now the sun is shining at it. The sun is back that way up there, shooting down at the drone, and it's still extremely bright. So that was the Loom Cube during the day, but we're gonna go check it out in the evening. But before we get to the evening, let me show you a quick unboxing because the packaging that these guys do with the Loom Cube is really top notch. It is like top shelf packaging. So check this out, here we go. The good people at Loom Cube sent me these really cool products. So in this box, I have two Loom Cubes. In this box, there's the drone mount for the DJI Mavic Pro or the Mavic Pro Platinum. And in this box, we have the mount for the Phantom 4 series of drones. And now a quick unboxing of the Loom Cube box, which looks surprisingly similar to a GoPro box. Open it up and there's the second one inside. Two USB cables in the box, some warning pamphlets and quick start guides. All right, so before first use, you have to charge them up. On the back, there's a little waterproof um, screw that you must remove to get access to the charging port. Then you use the included USB cable to plug it in and uh, charge it up. In the included instruction, it says that if I put this on the max brightness, which is power 10, and I leave it on full power while flying around, I'll get over 20 minutes of bright power time before it starts to dim. And also, which is pretty cool, not that I'm gonna fly my drone underwater, but if I drop this underwater, or if I took it underwater, it's good to 100 feet underwater, which is pretty cool. All right, it's evening right now. <laughs> My camera lady is dancing around over there. It's evening right now and uh, I'm gonna fly the loom cubes in the evening. You can see what the sky is like right now. Now, we do have a little bit of a problem because in Canada, where I am at the moment, we have these rules, laws, regulations that uh, pilots are not allowed to fly drones at night. So it's not night right now, but the sun is going down in the next 10, 20 minutes. And then it will, well, that's sunset and then it becomes night. So uh, it won't be pitch black what I'm going to use this loom cube for, but still it'll be dark enough to get the effect because they are extremely bright. So here we go. If I get this right, so this should be 10 settings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So these are on full blast. And going up. All right, follow the drone. I turn it around. Is that bright or is that bright? <laughs> I'm going to go over top. Okay, that is crazy bright. All right, there's the drone far away. That is massively bright. If anybody's watching this, they're going to think there's a UFO in the sky. Let's see, I'm going to light myself up. I can't stare at this because it's extremely bright. So, <laughs> am I lit up? I think I'm lit up like a Christmas tree here. Yeah, that's kind of bright. Okay, this is different. I've got it on active track, so I'll see if it follows me at night because active track doesn't work in the dark because it can't see you, but with the lights it can see me. <laughs> this is pretty cool. So active track is actually working in the dark. It's actually following me. All I can see is spots in front of my eyes. I can barely make out the camera in front of me. So now I'm gonna try something with, with the little bit of eyesight I have left. I'm gonna try some photography with a camera. I'm gonna leave the shutter open on a camera and see if I can get some weird images. I don't know if it's gonna work if it's dark enough or if I can even see what I'm doing. So let's try that now. So I'm gonna try something pretty cool here. I'm gonna turn the lights away. I'm gonna move the whole drone to the left. So here we go, open and left. What did I get? I should get a streak. Whoa, that looks pretty cool. Go to the ISO, bring that down to a hundred and I'm gonna put the shutter for the darkness here. I'm gonna leave it open to five seconds. There we go, up, over, down, up, the letter H. Now I got a little H. <laughs> there we go. I'll do just one last little trick where I just spin it. Open, up, and spin it as it goes up. What did I get? That's pretty neat. Okay. I have 15 seconds to get over there and get illuminated by the drone. Let's see. Take my time going over to the drone. Catch this on the GoPro. Arms out. I'm being blinded by the light. I think that's good enough. Yeah, got the picture. All right, so this is the end of the video and it's taken from the Phantom's camera, illuminated by the Loom Cubes. We're gonna go back inside and check out some more features. So yeah, Loom Cube, very small, very portable, very bright, very impressive. In the demo, I had the Loom Cubes attached to a Phantom 4 Pro. It will attach to any Phantom 4 series. And if you have a Mavic Pro Series 1, in other words, not the Mavic 2 Pro or the Mavic 2 Zoom, but the first series, they do sell attachments. They will sell attachments in the future for the Mavic 2 Series as well coming up. And the attachment is pretty simple. It looks like this, and it just hooks onto your arms like that, and you hook on your Loom Cube over here. And as well with Loom Cubes, there is an app, Mission Control app right here, and there's a bunch of sliders. You could control your Loom Cube. So I have two Loom Cubes behind me. And I'm just gonna hit the slider right here. I'm gonna turn the first one on. There we go, one is on. Hit the second one. There we go, two are on. Not very bright because it says here they're at 9%. Crank them up. There's one cranked up. And there's another one that's still not full. They are at 50% right now. And I can turn them all off. All right, so the app is pretty cool. And as you can guess, the app connects with the Loom Cube via Bluetooth. That means you can do some pretty cool things. So if you have your phone and you have one of these, you can actually use it to say, I'm snapping photos of someone. I only have a tiny little flash on the back of my phone. Well, this here Loom Cube will sync up with that flash, put this elsewhere in the room. And now I have a nice fill flash and you'll get a really nice image. Or I can just use the light with an attachment, go on my phone and I can go around taking videos of objects or people in the dark or during the daylight and adding more fill light and it works fine. Same is true for flashes. There is an attachment to actually attach it to your phone if you wish. And the same is true with the GoPro. You can have an attachment and you can use this here to actually flash as you're taking pictures on your GoPro or actually use it as fill light for when you're taking videos at night, doing, you know, your little YouTubing things. Hello. And since your GoPro can connect to your cell phone, well, the app for the Loom Cube will actually connect to the GoPro app and sync everything up nicely. And finally, if you're an amateur or professional photographer and you go out taking photos or inside in your portrait studio, you can use the Loom Cube as a fill light. So you can have a pile of these around the room. When you hit your little button to take a picture, flash goes off. These here have sensors in them and they will also go off. So you get a ton of fill light. You can also use them too to fit on top and have just light for when you're taking videos. Can you see my head where, there's my eyes. All right, I'm gonna pull this back so I come into focus and all the lighting and color goes back to normal. Well, Loom Cubes, I'm going to put below the link to that website 
where you can find out tons of information. Also, I think these are available on Amazon, possibly a million other stores. I'll put a link to that as well, and you can check it out. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, and we'll catch you in the next video.